Hello, just wanted to share how to um, create a piano score in Logic Pro. Usually when we play any piece of piano music, something like that, uh, that's actually from Secret Garden. And this is what it looks like when we play and record. Um, a little bit hard to read and as you see uh, this note here which is e, e flat and in here and here they should be assigned to our left hand over there otherwise it's really hard to read there are a few solutions the first one we can click on layout um, step styles and you see piano style um, in here on the right side there uh, there's a column called split so in here logic automatically splits notes at a t3 location which is our middle C it will split automatically anything below C3 it will put in our left hand anything above uh, C3 it will put in our right hand so if I trigger that one if I push it up, let's say to E flat, or it says D sharp here. Um, in my case, it's E flat. You can see it changed. So I got, well, I'm going to push it even further. Just one more. Well, you can see now I got my left hand, uh, and it's done properly. However, this solution isn't good at all. Um, Imagine you play piano and sometimes your left hand goes into your middle C. Sometimes, you know, it's, you actually play lower and your right hand actually goes um, below middle C. That, that function will not do any good. You'll be in trouble, like in the long term. So I'll return it back to C3. There's a better way. Okay. So. I'm going to select, um, well before I do that, when we play any notes, uh, those are actually called events, and by default they're assigned to a MIDI channel, like kind of internal MIDI channel. So and in here you can see, you see um, channel, I'm not sure if I can make it bigger. Over here you see channels, uh, it shows us 0 and 0. It's the same as the, the all these events are on, let's say, MIDI channel 1. Because 0 is some sort of an omni-channel. And if I put here 1 and 1, that should be the same. You look at the score, nothing has, uh, has changed. However, if I select my... Um, all my high notes like that so everything I play in my right hand um, that's why I play in my right hand and now I will assign a separate MIDI channel to this one in order to do so you have to go to your uh, key commands and you need to find a command called event uh, event channel so there's event channel plus and event channel minus you can create your own shortcuts. In my case, I just did it like Shift uh, plus or Shift equal to the same, and Shift minus. So I select my um, the notes I play in my right hand, and I'm gonna click now Event plus. Again, in my case, it's Shift uh, plus. You can set up any shortcut you'd like. So now these notes or these events actually assigned to a separate media channel going back to score you see my right hand has disappeared everything I play in my right hand has disappeared so I'm going back to this channel and instead of number one I put here number two and that's what you see you see my right hand appears here my left hand stay there um, this is the best solution um, for long term so you can always take and assign anything you play in your right hand you just assign to 
you know, certain media channel, anything you play in your left hand, you assign to another media channel. And that would be the best solution you can get in order to record a piano score. Well, I hope, um, yeah, I hope that helps you. If you have any questions, just, you know, um, put it in your comments. Thank you.